Hello. Hello, good morning guys. I have one viewer. Hello, good morning. We got a good connection this morning. Hello, good Good morning, Cherry. How are you doing today? Is my camera okay? Can you hear? Can you hear me? I don't know why it's echoing. Okay. There's some music? Where's the music come from? That's weird. I didn't have any music. Yes, thank you. Is my camera okay? We got five viewers already, yay! We're gonna wait until 10 viewers and then we're gonna start our, my introduction for today is the Food well. We got five now, yay. Is it better now? No echo? No music? I'll share it to, did you share it? Did you share it to, to somebody? Right now I got Cherry Timbicket. I haven't had a chance to get this picture, like the basket, the basketball. But I have a food well in here. It's gonna be fun. We're waiting for other people. Right now we got five. Is Cat Potato Gamer here? Say hi.
Hello, Cat Potato Gamer. Thank you for coming in. Are you gonna answer one of my food will? The first game will we will do today is about the food will. I'll show you the picture. Here you pick a uh, five food, and then we're gonna roll it. And then if you landed it in that food, and you're gonna get a point. Hopefully we got more viewers today. Because this is gonna be fun. This is my... Uh, I researched it last night. I'm getting better at using the OBS platform, guys. I'm excited. Margie said she's gonna watch, but I don't know if she have a, a YT account, so she maybe she's watching now, but she didn't have any, she can't write a message down here. Ricardo Romero. Hi, Ricardo Romero. Exon Ganerowena. Ricardo Romero. Thank you for coming in, Ricardo. So we got six now, four more to go, and we're going to start our game. Here, you have to pick five food, and then we're going to roll it, roll the well, and whatever food, that if the food that you pick, Rick, Rick. Oh, na anaman ka, Rick. Very good. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna wait for some more people and we're gonna start. So decide if what food do you like it in here we got big salmon. I think there's food eight food in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So out of eight of this food you pick five of them and type it down here. And then we're gonna roll the wheel and if it landed for the food that you, you pick and then you're gonna win a points. You're gonna get points okay so write down type down your food that you like if you like lumpia shanghai potato soup sandwich bread funnel cake baked salmon soman moron chicken machado or veggie stir fry vegetable stir fry We have five. We have four waiting for some more people. Okay, for Cherry, Lumpia, Shanghai, one. You have to pick four more, Cherry. Pick four more food. My Shanghai is wrong spelling, sorry. <laughs> I thought that was a wrong spelling. And then they get Soman Moron. You need, you need four more. Because if I rolled it, it's non-stop. 
I roll it five times and it's gonna be non-stop. So you have to pick your, you have to write down your food. Suman so Moon, what else? What else do you like? Right, type down all of the five food, okay? And we're gonna start in five minutes. We only have four people right now. I don't know where's the other people. We'll try share it. We'll show it. We're waiting, we're waiting. We only have two people here that guess uh, put down their food that they pick. Cherry is Lumpia Shanghai and Tembikit is Suman Moron. So, what do you want? Five food? Yes. Five food. Pick five food. Because I'm gonna roll the, the well. Uh, I call this well of food. Food well. I'm going to roll it uh, five times and then, all right, so Cherry got Lumpia Shanghai, BG Stir Fry, Baked Salmon, and Sandwich Bread. I'm going to roll the well of a uh, food well excessively in five times, so not so not five times. I roll na kung five times ang well niya ka, kalima. So, bali, up, bali five food ang, ang mapili. So, whatever food that it, it will pick, then you're gonna get a points. Okay? Anybody here? Potato soup, Ricardo. Upat, upat, usar o dapat pili. No, you have to put so you have to type the uh, the five food because I can't stop I can't stop it I don't know how to stop the roll so it's gonna be excessively roll five times so you have to put five food. So Cherry got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Cherry got five. Very good. What? Did you pick a food? <laughs> pick five food, Ricardo, Cherry said. And potato soup. And you need you need four more. You need four more food. We got seven people here. Hello guys, hello everybody. Right number your five food. Pili mo og five ka food. And then write down in the comments. And then we're gonna roll the wheel of food. And then whatever it pick, and then you're gonna get a point. Yep. So Cherry got five food already. Timbiket needs. Timbi. 
Can be get you need four more. Ricardo, Ricardo, you need four more. And four more food. Then we get, where are you? You have to type your four more food. You only got so much more on here. So much more on. I'm gonna go start the, the, prefer for the, what? Okay, you change yours, Cherry Asha. Cherry change yours. Yours is gonna be the final answer, right? Potato soup, lumpia Shanghai, BG stir fry, baked potato, salmon, salmon more on one, two, three, four, five. Okay, is that your final? Final answer? I'm gonna put here 11. Six today is six fourteen, right? So Tim Bicket got Lumpia Shanghai, Potato Soap, Soman Moron, Funnel Cake, and Big Salmon. So you got five. Yes. Give it to share it to everybody. Zoyan TV is not here. I'll share it to Got six people here. Just waiting for more people. So far we have six people, so that's good. We got seven, we got seven now. You guys, write down your five food and we're gonna start in a couple minutes. Five food that you like. We got excellent connection. We got eight food here, and out of this eight food, you will pick five food that you like. Either you like funnel cake, baked salmon, suman moron, chicken machado, veggie stir fry, stir vegetable stir fry, and lumpia Shanghai. Sorry for my lumpia Shanghai spilling. I think I need a little A in here and potato soap and sandwich bread which which five food do you like the best write down your five food
We have eight people. Yay! Two guys. Uh, two more people, guys. We're gonna start. But you, but you have to write down your food so that so that you will win, so that you will win points, so that you get the points. Okay. So far, we only have Cherry and Tim Bicket that write down their complete five food. Write down your five food that you likes the best. So that you'll get your points. I know, but I can't. I can't stop. I can't stop from. This is five turn. Excessively, I can't stop from one turn to the next one. So I don't have. You don't have time to write your next. So I just uh, put it, the five together, so that it will just excessively run. And then we're just gonna look at who's, who has that all the food. I'm just gonna write it down what food it's gonna land it for, for three. I mean for five row. That's why I get, I'm just gonna do that. I'll show you. So if anybody don't wanna write, we're just gonna start it. But I'll just wait for a little more. You can figure out what food do you like. The food, it's five food. Pick up five food. We got nine, guys. Come on. But we only have two contestants here. I mean, three, including including Ricardo. But Ricardo only get one food. So if that Ricardo take potato soup, if that well will land it up in potato soup, then he's going to get one point. But if you pick four more, and then it landed all the four, and then you're gonna get five points. Like Cherry here has uh, have five food. If all that five food landed it in excessively five roll, then she gonna get five points. Also, Tim Bicket. Anybody? Anybody wants Anybody or maybe we're just gonna start Okay, we have three contestants so far so are you do you want to start now? Do you want to start for this? Uh, first game for introduction game well I covered it look at that I covered <laughs> I didn't know you can cover that one you ready? Tim Bicket and Cherry, are you ready? And Ricardo, because there are only three of you that enter this, enter this first game. Okay, Cherry said go. 
All right, let's get started. Ready, go! Let's see which one's gonna go good first. Okay, Rina got her Lumpia Shanghai, Putita Soap, Sandwich Bread, and Baked Salmon. First one, Sandwich Bread. Sandwich Bread first. Let's go to the second one. We're just gonna look at it, which one's gonna get it. All right, next, next one is Soman Moron. Soman Moron, uh, Soman Moron. That's what, next one, and the third one. Hi, Rowena. <laughs> and the third one is Baked Salmon. Baked Salmon. Just looking for the fourth one. The fourth one is funnel cake. Funnel cake. And the last one. Last row of well of food. Ra a last roll of well of food. Ta-da! It's gonna be the last one. Last one is Lumpia Shanghai. Very good. Okay, who got the points? Lumpia Shanghai. My Lumpia Shanghai is... A wrong spelling. <laughs> okay. Let's see who got the sandwich bread. Jerry didn't got it. Didn't get it. I didn't get uh Tim Bicket didn't get it. Let's see. Sandwich bread one point for Rowena. Rowena one point. You got sandwich bread. And the next one is Soman Moron. Uh, Timbe Kid got one. Timbe got one point for Soman Moron. And how about Cherry? Uh, and Soman Moron. Cherry got one too. One point. And. The next one is baked salmon. Anybody get the baked salmon? Baked salmon. Cherry got one point for the baked salmon. And Tame Bicket got baked salmon too. Uh, Rowena got baked salmon, so you all have three points. Oh, two points. Why did you get three points already? Okay. And the, the third one is, I mean, the fourth one is funnel cake. Funnel cake, funnel cake. Which one got the funnel cake? Nobody got the funnel cake. Oh, no, Tim Bicket got funnel cake, so you got three. And Cherry, no funnel cake. Rowena. Rowena, no funnel cake. No funnel cake. Ricardo is only potato soap. Okay. The, four, the fifth one is Lumpia Shanghai. Who got the Lumpia Shanghai? Cherry got the Lumpia Shanghai. One more point. 
Tim Bikit You got Lumpia Shanghai too Get the same food You pick the same food And Rowena got Lumpia Shanghai too Lumpia Shanghai is my favorite I will pick it too And I think that's all So our points so far is Rowena 3 points Tim B 4 points And Che got <laughs> Ganun pa Okay, Ricardo. <laughs> well, this is the first time. We're gonna do this next time. What do you think is the good well that we can we can do next time? You can tell me what do you like to to enter in the well because you can we can change that. We can change the selection of of this well. You can make it about game or about cars or about about anything anything you can make that okay points so far Rowena got 3 Timby got 4 and Cherry got 3 3 points Con congratulations guys that's the points for today Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's how I do it. This is my own. This is my own idea. So, if if you ha if you have any idea that you can suggest, I will listen to. Maybe we can do it next time. Just for fun. The idea that Terry gave me la yesterday, I couldn't find any picture of those like. You can put it together like basket and bowl, and the answer is basketball. I can't find those, so maybe next time. So you guys, are you ready for the next uh, challenge? Our next challenge. Okay, you guys, what do you like for the next challenge? I have a three challenges to go. We have science, we have riddles, and we have social studies. Which one do you like? Which one do you like to do next? And I have food. And I have food pictures that you can, you can guess what's the name of the food. That food is mostly from uh, Tim Bikit's cooking. <laughs> Anybody suggest what uh, challenge do you like next? We have social slides, social studies, we have riddles, we have science, and we have food guessing. So, what are the picture? Wala ko kakita na ay na ay uh, copyright ng mga picture. Dapat magpicture lang ko ako ah. <laughs> it's up to me. Okay. Okay, well, let's go to the science. Because I like science. Science is fun. Alright, let's go to the science. Slide science. Rowena said, it's up to me. <laughs> okay, makagutom ng food siya. Niya na lang nainigrapit na last para inig Last, pwede. No, pwede raman mo magkaon. Pwede raman magkaon mananaw. There you go. I put that there. Okay, we got our first question for science. Food guessing, Cherry. You're gonna get hungry. Okay, we'll go. We'll go for this food guessing. Cherries. Cherry wants to do a food guessing. 
Clean John Pajardo. Thank you so much for coming in. How are you? John John De La Serna is here. Live with dummies. Oh, that was the science. Okay. Today we're just going to go get the science because somebody already answered it. Liver damage is Junjun got the right answer. Liver damage, Junjun got it first. So we'll put a uh, one point for Junjun. One, okay. Clinton, Jerry Elshire, liver damage is right. Clinton, liver damage is right, but uh, we got the first point for Jun Jun, okay? All right. You ready for the next one? The next question for science today is number two. What is a measure measure the amount of water before in the air? Water before the measure the amount of water before in the air. This question is not very good, but I don't know why I get it there. Jerry, I don't have a picture. Humidity, got it? Junjun got the point. Two points. Two points for Junjun. I'm going to update the points. Uh, Rowena got three. Timbi got four. Cherry got three. Junjun got two. All right. Next question. I have ten questions for the science. Okay, ready? Get it, go. How long we would be able to see the sun again if it disappeared? How long, we, uh, how long we would be able to see the sun again if it disappeared? Waiting for the answer. If the sun will disappear, how long will we be able to see the sun again? This, the answer to this is a minute. Clint John, good job, Clint John. You got one point for today. Very good, very good. Clint John got it first. One point for Clint John. Good job, Clint John. Finally, you got point today. All right, let's go to the next question. Number four, what are thunderstorm clouds? What are thunderstorm clouds? Mm -hmm. oh, no, I didn't have any multiple choice. Just the answer like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to say hi? <laughs> Can you say hi? Hi. Hello, Internet. <laughs> Hello, Internet. <laughs> Nobody answered. Yep. See, here's the answer. Then we could say the same way the eye and a glibo kosigi reload ako wrong. No, nako wrong video ko. What? What happened? Why you got wrong video? Do you like that? Do you like mine? Mm -hmm. I have a, a video head and I can change that too. That one, and then that one. There you go. Yeah. This, that one. This. You can watch it in your phone. 
Nimbus, Clint Jan said, Nimbus, Clint Jan, this is a two clouds that mix together. You have to put uh, more other clouds before the Nimbus. Remember? You start with C, you mixed it together. <laughs> Breath of the science wing, but do you know what to do? What na, what na na, what na na ko ana baid. <laughs> Mat man ako sa una ganahan pero in study kog science para sa GED. Mo na na nakahinundom sa uban. Kumyela nimbus, got it. Junjun got the answer for number 4. The thunderstorm clouds is a cumulonimbus. Cumulonimbus. Krenjan, sorry. You, you just omitted away from Junjun. It's okay. Next time. Next time. Three points for Junjun. Haha. <laughs> Ako <laughs> pod. It's okay. You gotta, you gotta learn from here. Na makahinundong na ani. Reminders. Reminders from when we were in school. At least, bago pa mong nag-school, ako dugay na wa nag-school. <laughs> okay. Go ahead to number five. What is the largest planet in the solar system? What is the largest planet in the solar system? Cumulon nimbus. That was the thunderstorm cloud. That is very scary. When you see the cumulon nimbus clouds here in our place, it's very scary because sometimes it's gonna turn into a tornado, and tornado is very scary. Wala tadi sa Philippines tornado, but dere daghat daghat tornado. That's why our house has a basement so that if there's a tornado, we can. Jupiter! Yay! We got a good answer from. Clint Jan Pajardo, Jupiter, two points for Clint Jan. Good job, Clint Jan. Clint Jan, you got it first. Jupiter, the biggest planet in the solar system is Jupiter. Good job, guys. Okay, since that already been answered, we're going to go ahead and go to number six. What? is made up the majority of Earth's atmosphere. Atmo atmosphere. Atmosphere. <laughs> what is made up the majority of Earth's atmosphere? The majority of the Earth is made up of what majority? Our atmosphere. You're welcome, Queen John. Good job. <laughs> Rowena, Jupiter, Rowena, you are right. It's the largest planet is Jupiter, but it's been answered by Queen John first. So. Nitrogen. John John got the right answer of this. Number six. The answer is nitrogen. I'm not make sure it's nitrogen. I, I forgot. Yep, it's nitrogen. There you go. Junjun got next points. Junjun, you got four points now. The answer for number six, nitrogen. And Junjun got it first. Ricardo said CO2. That's a carbon dioxide. And, and John, Clint John said nitrogen. It's a right answer to Clint John, but you're uh, late, a little bit late, two minutes late from John John. All right.
right, guys. Are you ready for the number seven? Number seven. Ready. Number seven. What is made up of the crust and upper mantle? This is the inside of the earth. Like when the, when the volcano is made up. What is made up of the crust and upper mantle? Number seven. Yep. All of this science, we had it last, we had this last uh, live stream. So that's why if you remember. So Jin Jin got it right. It's little spur. The answer for number seven is little spur. Little spur is made up the crust and upper mantle. Good job, Jin Jin. All right, let's go on to the number eight question. Clint Chan said little spur. That's right. But you just a little bit late. One minute is late. <laughs> yeah. It's so close. It's just like one second late. <laughs> Charlie, they got it like last my last live stream. I think they remember it. But my social status is different next time, so it's gonna be harder. Okay, John John, you got the uh, five points now. Five points for John John. Then they could say lava. No. Green <laughs> John, wala. Ga, ga TikTok. Ga TikTok lang chair. <laughs> TikTok is fun. We're gonna do TikTok next time. That would be fun, isn't it? I'm just gonna research it. Then they get wrong. Yeah, that's okay. You'll get it right next time. We got three more questions for science. You ready for number eight? All right, ready to get to the number eight question. Who put a man on the moon in 1969? Chai, Tim, you know this one. I know that it's been answered by Zoyan TV, but Zoyan TV is not here. Maybe he's sleeping. Maybe he's sleeping now. All right, guys. Who puts, who puts a man on the moon in 1969? Yes, this is same question last time, Clint John. I think this is the last one. That... Oh, yeah, Jun Jun got it. You're pretty quick, Jun Jun. You remember everything from last time. Good job. One point for Jun Jun. He got it right first. But this next, I didn't have this last time. Yeah, you were there too, Terry. Why you didn't remember? Why you didn't remember? <laughs> USA. Yep, it's USA. Okay, you ready for the next question? The number eight has been answered by Junjun. Okay. Number nine, ready, get it, go. Number nine question. What is a state of matter contains the least amount of kinetic energy? Oh, uh, you got a walk walk still there, Jin Jin, not help you. That walk walk is smart. <laughs> Congrats for the walk walk there. <laughs> okay, we went for number nine. What is a state of matter contains the least amount of kinetic energy? I remember all of it. Really? Why you didn't get an answer? Cherry, you, you remember all of it, but you didn't write your answer fast. Or oh, you're not fast typer. Are you not a fast typer like me? I'm not a fast typer too. Cherry, 
remember all of it but she didn't answer do you have an answer for number nine cherry get get your points you have three here the the first uh food wheel was very easy because you didn't have to think about it you just pick your food i'm gonna do the next time a different it's not a food maybe different oh uh, cherry said molecules okay i no it is not molecules John John said gas it's not a gas Green John liquid no it's not a liquid you're almost there a state of matter you're the Clint John yes good job Clint John you got it the answer is solid solid is a state of matter contains the least amount of kinetic energy good job Clinton you got four points four points uh, Clint John okay ready for the number eight i mean number eight ready for the number 10 this is the last question for science is it oh i think that was just only nine so anyway well, i'm gonna do the food picture next let's see if we still have no i only have I only have nine questions for science. I thought I have ten. Well, science went really fast. The science challenge went really, really fast. You're welcome, Queen John. You got now four points. Let's update the points and let's go to the food. Food guessing. You're going to guess the food, guys. Guess the title of the food, okay? This is from this is a video from me and Tim Bicket in the YouTube channel, and guess the first title of the food. Okay. Update for the points. Rowena got three points. Timbi got four points. Cherry got three points. Junjun got six points, and Clint Jan got four points. All right. We are ready for the next challenge. You got it, guys? This food is a video that made, nine is a video, Tim Bicket's video and my video about food. Guess the what title of the food that I'll show it here. I'll show the picture and you'll get you will guess what is the title of that video video's title from Tim B's channel and my channel all right you ready all right here's the first picture what is the title of this food this is from Tim Vicket's channel. What is the title of this food? Now you're gonna get hungry. Makagutom na dyan eh. Rice na like kulang. <laughs> Guess what is the title of this food? In Tim Bicket's channel, Tortang Shrimp. Is it Tortang Shrimp? Tim Bicket, is this a Tortang Shrimp? I forgot. Tortang Hippon. Wait, Tim Bicket, you're not allowed to answer this because this is from you. <laughs> hippon or shrimp? Is it Hippon and Shrimp is the same? <laughs> <Kakaila>. <laughs> oh 
Mukha ka lang kaya ni John. Lami man ni isulag ka noon. Tortang hipon. Well, I was just gonna get it to Tim Bikit. But Tim Bikit, you, this is your video. You're not supposed to answer this. <laughs> you just give it to somebody else. We're gonna do that next time, okay? Because the, the answer of this is Tortang hipon. Tortang hipon. But Clint Jan said Tortang shrimp is very close, but. It's hipon. Is it hipon and shrimp is the same? I think shrimp is bigger. Hipon is smaller. Tortang hipon. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna go. I'm gonna use this next time so you can guess it next time, okay? Let's go to the next picture. Ready? Get it? No, next picture. Alright, what is the title of this food from Tim Bikit's channel? What is this food? What is the title of this food? Para gutom. Give it to Clint, okay. I will just, the first tortang hipon, tortang stream, I'll give it to Clint Jan. Clint Jan, you got five points. All right. Tortang bucket. What? Tortang bucket. Are you gonna eat tortang bucket? <laughs> so it's not. Is it? Toron na muna go. Research it. Forgot the name of this one though. I make the picture, but I forgot the name. Tortang hipon. Lumpiang Toron. <laughs> Lumpiang Toron. Is it Lumpiang Toron? I'm gonna go search. I forgot the, th I forgot the name of this. I forgot the name of this. Oh, I should write it down. I wrote, I wrote it, I wrote it down somewhere. Lumpia, lumpia, uh, it's not lumpia, as you can see there's a banana inside, I think some, something, I think Toron is right though. Well, I can't believe I didn't write, the, oh yeah, I write the answer. No, I didn't write the answer, so I'll just, I'll research it. Go research it quick, okay? Because I forgot the title. I think it's Toron. If it's Toron, Clinton got it first, so. But make sure I will research it. Super quick. Tortang Hipon is right. Where is your channel? Yep, I think uh, Clint Jan got it first. The name of this uh, food is Toron. Oh no, it's it's not. <clears throat> it's just the title of the the thumbnail, but it's not the title of the saging Toron banana. Make a combination. It's a combination of two things. It's a combination. It's a, it's a combination of two fruits with banana. There's one more in there. The one that is very smells so good. <laughs> smells so good. Magbuak og. Oh, is dili taron. So you can see it here in the inside. It's the combination of two fruits. And somebody already answered the banana here, so just put another fruits. Cherry, banana, and there's another fruits in it, inside. 
<laughs> daghan mana o oh. daghan na tong toron with banana that's right it Rowena you got it right but there's another fruits in it saging toron banana toron daghan nga klase nga toron banana toron malaki toron ubi toron pa jud nakatagan sa usa ka fruits nga smell so good Kaning fruits kay tunokon sa gawas nya dako nga lingin nya humot kayo og mahinog nya dili nimo tabunan sa punuan kan on og kwaknet <laughs> kan ona og kwaknet because it smells so good There you go <laughs> Clean Jan got it right guys Good job Clean Jan Uh, points for Clint John. We're gonna update our points, guys. Rowena got three points. Timby got four. Che got three. Jun Jun got six, and Clint John got six. So we have a tie: Clint John and Jun Jun. All right, got it. Congratulations to Clint John. Very good. You ready for the next food? You're gonna get hungry, guys. These pictures are really good. Just gonna get hungry. Next, ready, get it, go. What is this food? So very good with. Yep, Rowena said, banana tron with langka. Sakto na wing. Sakto na pero ang points to ane. Good job, got it first. Good job, guys. Now you remember. Now you remember what's the name of this. Good job. All right, this is the next picture. What is the title of this food? Also from Timbiket's channel. Food channel. What is the title of this food? It's very yummy. There's a green peas in it, and there's a potato in it, and it's so good, so good. Calderita. <laughs> Clinton said, thanks, Sherry. Carlos said, Calderita. It's not Calderita. This title is, I never heard this when I was in the Philippines. It's, I don't know where to get this title. Is it from, is it the title of this food is from Manila or somewhere? Because I never heard this when I was in the Philippines. Timbe, where did you get the title of this food? Because it's like a Tagalog or a different. Rowena said. Christian said Calderita meat. No, it is not Calderita. Christian said, ha, Rowena pork apretada. No. Cherry, Cherry said, "Oh, you Ricardo, mau nak dagoi saya yang kalderita. Kalderita is almost like that. See that? There's a, a bone in here. Kalderita is look like that. Yummy. Kalderita is yummy. John John Rosario said, 'Sado? No, it's not a sado. It's a very weird, not very common title of this food." Start with S. Clinton, asadong baboy or asadong baka? No, it is not that title. I remember the title is start with S. Tim Bicket, give some clue. This is your this is your video. Give a clue. Give some clue to this food. What is this food? What is the title of this food? Title or name of this food? Junjun asado. It's not asado. Sarong babi or sarong bag. It's not it. Then make it. Give a clue. Clue na ngalan silingan ang last word. Ha ha. Silingan ang last word. Asa may silingan sa last word, Ana? 
Nga lang sa inyong silingan. What? Oh, okay. The last word. Nga lang sa inyong silingan. <laughs> na ba tayo silingan na itong nga lang? Uh, na ba tayo silingan? <laughs> Wala, bito, wala ko kailaana. Oh. <laughs> ha ha, Tim Vicky, please. Suda po, Dana. Nga, Klo. <laughs> nga lang, bito, ang ginatapusan na niya. Ang sinugdanan, Lisod. <laughs> Lisod, ang sinugdanan. Sinan Tumas. Clint John got it. Good job for Clint John. Now you have 7 points, Clint John. Good job. 7 points for Clint John. Good job. Cherry, Clint John already got it. The answer is Sinan Tomas. Sinan Tomas. That's what, that's what Tim Bikit said. It's Tomas. Ngalan sa inyong silingan si Mang Tomas. Oh, si Mang Tomas. Sos dahil na siya. Sos na si Mang Tomas. Pork Michado. Very close, Ruina. But I don't know. Uh, I don't know where they get the Sinan Tomas name. Maybe it's Tagalog. Or maybe it's in Waray or somewhere. <laughs> All right. Klinjan, seven points. Wow, thanks. Thanks for abat, abat hair. Kinsa may abat deha? <laughs> Kinsa may mong kaubang abat deha? Clean dyan. <laughs> okay, okay. Next picture. Next picture is... There you go. This is very easy, guys. It's very easy. This is, again, this is from... Uh, Tim Bikit's channel food. I made this last, last uh, the other night. It's very, very healthy. Very healthy food. Si Tomas, yeah. <laughs> Cherry Tagalag na son silinga ni Clinton. Oh, si, si Tomas. Si Tomas to. Eh, nandong pa to. Wata pa man to pag bata pa to si Tomas pag sa Pilipinas ko uh, gisado gisado this one is na gisado it's a soup I'll give you a clue it's a soup what kind of soup is this haha na idaghan aw oh, tami di ay tami di ay wala to yung Tomas ay wala man tayo Tomas silingan sa ubo Luna Bagas Minodo. It's not Minodo. Jin Jin Chap Choy. It's not Chap Choy. Look, there's a lot of uh, liquid in it. It's liquidy. Daghag tubig ni. So that means it's soup. It's a soup. Tim Bake, give a clue. Tim Bake, can you give a clue? Bulang Lang. Ricardo said Bulang Lang. What is Bulang Lang? Is that a soup? Bulang lang nang so. Wala ko kadungo ka ng bulang lang. <laughs> Cherry said cabbage soap. There you go, Cherry. Oh no, Clint John said first. Cabbage soap for, from Clint John. Good job, Clint John. Another point for Clint John is a cabbage soup. See, there's a lot of cabbage in the top. Very healthy cabbage soup. Very good. Kanian. Ang um, clue ni Tim. Tim Bikit. Ulahin na. Kani ang clue. Daghang mamala. Ani. Daghang, daghang mamala ani sa tabon kay Bugat. Mamala gani ko ani sa una. Mamala po ko ani sa una. Gamay bukag. <laughs> bugat kay. <laughs> Puro git bukag ani. Naapog ko'y bukag sa unang gamay. Inimo ni Lolo. <laughs> Diyan, diyan. Wala ko kagit sa klo. Ah. <laughs> Wala ka kagit nagmamahala sa tabon, John. Nang, ka nang mang, mang harvest o tripulyo. 
Mang Harvey Sukripulo ikan sa tabon niya, balaon. Balaon, padulong sa merkado. <laughs> Puno gyud ang bukag aning. Aha, nakaalsa ko ana. <laughs> Bita, ako po nakabala ko ani. Very good. Okay, ready for the next question, guys? <laughs> Shit. Dili ka taga Bukid, John? Taga Siyudad ka? Challenge by wala ko kasabot by. <laughs> Oh, mau di ay, di lagi kata tak ada lagi John. Mau nai mamalai sabtabun. Okay, let's go to the next question. Ready, get set, next picture. This one is a yummy for dessert. Snacking, snack, snack. Para temuk temuk nane, para temuk temuk. Who get this title? Oh, taga pardo. Nakabuyo kong pardo sa una. <laughs> Lison mo din mong clone, oh. Lison pag mag una, -una og <laughs> Next picture from Tim Bicket's channel again. No, Tim Bicket, give a clue. Lami kayo ang kuha, no? Lami kayo ang butong, oh. Ang butong, lami kayo. Isa, pichi-pichi. Pero nice ang taga-dalagit kay mga hatag sa nag-utanon. Oh, kay daghan kayo utanon dito. Mga hatag po may utanon sa una. Oh, John John said pichi-pichi. Ricardo said puto. This message held for review what why is it held oh okay we're just gonna get that it is not that answer clean what happened oh okay whoa whoa What happened? Oh, I think guys, that's a uh, that word. It's a dili maayong a dili to maayong a message. Dili to maayong a word sa sa Spanish. That's why gi 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 por view. Tong p o p o t o dili maayong a word sa Spanish. Mo ang YouTube deal ikuan na yun na i-review nila. What? I'm gonna go look at the pitchy pitchy if it's right. Is it pitchy pitchy? Pitchy pitchy. Asa na muna dapat na video ni mo. Timbi kit. Timbi. What is the name of this picture? I should write it down. I don't know where is that. Is it pitchy pitchy? I can't find it. Oh, there it is. Very good. Okay. Points for John John. Seven points. Already. One point away from Clint John. Okay. Pitchy pitchy. It's right. Glow ana kay uyab ni Tomas. Kinsa mo na uyab ni Tomas eh? Kucinta with makap makapuno, very close. Mo mo ma o dun na na yos sa ane ka video si ayon kucinta. Lamik ka ayong lamik ka ang saging. 
weto wete weng na click na ko na amput na unsa na wa na tuyo sorry take aw oh, oh, lahi da itong message na na click na ko ang kang Ricardo na click po da ini mo ang kang ko ah ang Rowena <laughs> unsa man to ka Rowena nga message dili to p p o t o ba ko ka basa ato katero mang p o t o may i-review sa YT YT Nice jud bitaw ang tao why why katong youth encounter me sa Don Bosco Bitaw nice kayo mga tao dito Mingaw na ko dito sa bukid Kadto ni kadjot sa kaadlaw ra dali ra kayo naman Uh Yep is pitchy pitchy it's right yes pitchy pitchy we have ni Thomas kinsa mo mas Thomas oi Wala ko ka <laughs> kita ng Tumas. Timbikit. Otro po ang host. Wala ka ila sa akong video na nalimot ko. Naman ko ito ilain ng murag kutsinta. Lahit na ito kutsinta. Nakot gaya po ilubi sa iba ba? Pero dili na ito. Dili na mao. Sa sunod akong isulat. Wala ko na akong isulat. Nagsalig ko nga makahinang. <laughs> Cherry. Wala. Klaro. <laughs> Pichi pichi, lami ano pichi pichi ay butong lang ako ano pichi pichi. Okay, next picture. Ready get it? Next picture. Na ako ano ang video? It's my video. What is the title of this? Lami na, lami na. Sayon na na buhaton. Maghimo tag humid ana. Wala man ako gibasa. Oh, gibasa din. <laughs> gibasa din ako, sir. Pag share the host, okay. I will write it down next time. I'm not ready for this. This is my new game, guys. And every new game is not perfect. I'm gonna make it perfect next time. Okay, next, next. Answer for this picture. It's from my video. No, it's not full brown. It is not full brown. You can, you can. It's a wrap. You can wrap it in a different things. Homemade lumpia wrapper. Very good. Timbiket got it. Good job, Timbiket. You remember it. Good job. Points for Timbiket. Five points for you, Timbiket. Good job. Good job. Good job. Making lumpia, very close, clean John. Rapper, lumpia rapper, that's right. That's the answer, but Timbikit got it first, and it's a complete, it's a complete name. All right, that's been answered very, very fast. It's not like the pitchy pitchy, the pitchy pitchy snacks. Ready? Ready, are you still there? All right, next picture. Do I still have a next picture? Lumpia wrapper made by the host. Yay! <laughs> made by me! Try it, guys. It's good. If you don't have any access to the store, then you can make it your own. And it's very easy. Just water and flour. And a, and a kalaha. Water, uh, harina, tubig water, harina, and kalaha. Okay na. Daog ng lumpia wrapper. <laughs> Alright. Brass day, eh. Need a brass. Okay, ready for the next? Ready for the next picture? Do I still have next picture? Let's see. There you go! This is from Cherry's Farm. But, Cherry, what about the title? Ane, so, do get it, guys. What is the title of this video made by me? But it's from Cherry's Farm. She gave it to me. She gave me this video and I edited it and I titled it. So what's the title? Cherry, can you guess the title of this? Can you guess the title of your video that you gave it to me? See, there's a this little good hair is in the is in the 
top of the tree. Okay. Good farm. Wow, that's quick. Now that been answered by Junjun very fast. Junjun, you got the points. You got the points. Now you are tied with Klinjan. Junjun and Klinjan is in tie score. Good job, guys. Good job. Thumbs up. <laughs> okay. So, do you remember this video? This is your goat. This is all of your goat in your farm. <laughs> and the title is Goat Farm. This is a goat farm. Jerry's Goat Farm. <laughs> Does it necessary the title is just the name of the animal? No, it's the title. It's just Goat Farm. Yeah, it's just Goat Farm land, but Good farm is good enough because there's two words in it. It's a good and the farm. Clint John is right. It's a good farm land, but uh, Jun 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 got it first. Then make it good. <laughs> now it's not good. You have to put some more. What? At least two words. <laughs> That's so close. That's so close. Ready for the next picture? Next picture, ready, get it, go. There you go, this food is made by me. It's made by me. It's made by your host. Did you get it, guys? Did you get it? Picture, what is the title of this food? Kandingan ni my cherry. My cherry, good. Well, my cherry na uh, ten years, twenty years from now. Si my cherry. <laughs> what is the title of this food? All right, Junjun got it. I think you saw a lot of my videos, Junjun. Potato soap. The title of this is potato soap. Junjun got it, guys. Now you're one point ahead of Clint Chan. Tim Bicket got it too, but you are one minute away late. That was quick. I have to get a, a complicated picture next time. <laughs> Potato soap. Very good, John John. Congrats. You got you have now well up to the well up to the score guys. Rowena got three, Tim B got five. Cherry got three, Junjun got nine, and Klinjan got three. Very good, guys. Ha, oh, my chering. Oh, there you go. <laughs> See my chering. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you, Junjun. Thank you for watching all, uh, most of my videos. That's pretty good. Now you're, you're ahead of them. You're ahead of most of them. <laughs> Supposed to be by... Uh, and Menya Samora watch all my videos, but she's not here, but uh, maybe she's sleeping right now. Is Arminia sleeping already? <laughs> my Cheria, oh no. My Cheria. My Cheria, that's unique. Are you ready for the next? Are you ready for the next picture? I'm not sure how many pictures I have here, but let's see. Let's see if I have some more. Ready, get it, go. Okay, what is the title of this video? This is made by me again. This video is made by your host. It's a beautiful, beautiful picture. This is my favorite picture and it's, it's really nice picture. Tim Bicket. Cherry, pwede na ka na ako, haha. Ako daog sa Texas. <laughs> yeah. Jun Jun, yeah, she told me to watch your video. <laughs> yeah, I know, but she's not here. I don't know what happened to Arminia. <laughs> Maybe she's tired and sleeping already. Rowena said, Cherry, kauban sa nang nas lola spilling yan. <laughs> what? 
Tsuing kauban sa nas lula, lula piling. Lula piling yan, a ah, lula piling. Oh. Nada lula piling sa dito. <laughs> Rowena Sunshine. You, you have to at least make two words of the title. A long sunset drive. Very good. Clint John got it. Good job. Good job, Clint John. Long sunset drive. That's my that's my video and it's really nice. And it's a really nice sunset. Good job, Clint John. You now have nine and you are tied with John John. Good job. Oh, Busy for her business. Oh, busy the eye. Busy the eyes of Armenia. I hope she can watch this though. Maybe she'll watch it later. <laughs> it's okay. Alright. Who got long sunset drive? Almost so close, John John. I think Clint John got it first. Long sunset drive. Very good. Good job. Oh, sige, tumbikate, mag-serious na ko. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nakatulog, sir, minya. <laughs> busy ko na sayang business. Business busy. Alright, guys, ready for the next uh, next picture? I don't know if I have more picture, but I am I lost track of how many pictures. I, I thought I have 10 pictures here, but let's go to the next picture. Ready, gets it. Next is Riddle. Riddle is uh, fun. It's fun to guess. Hasta po si Zoyan TV nakatulog. Oh, nakatulog po si Zoyan TV. Gikapoy siguro to. Tiop siguro niya karon. Kay gabi mananta na iyang. <laughs> oh, oh, pili din. It's <laughs> tama. Lula feeling. <laughs> no, I'm not feeling one up. Feel oh, it's <laughs> tanga Okay. Hi to Marjay. Maybe Ma si Marjay is going to na nana or si Mama. Hi to Mama and Marjay and Lula. <laughs> Lula, ko Lula concept na tulog na siguro gabi na kairon sa toa. Ah, oh, nana feeling man to ni. Clint-chan. Abi na kong nanay piling ni Clint-chan. Kuya, he's good lang. Mama pili di ay. Si Lola piling ang tawag sa akong anak ni Tia Pili. Ah! Nahimo na yung nahimo na piling si Mama. <laughs> Mo di ay. Now I know. Uh, I'm so late. Hi, Arminia. Where did you go? Did you fall asleep? That's okay. Now you can never win. You're so late. Our our highest score in here is Junjun and Clint John third in Thai. Junjun and Clint John is in Thai score. Our DR is in Thai Armenia. Na abot <laughs> na abot na ha ha. Managoro sa yung business. <laughs> okay. Business is good too. You have to prioritize your business too. Business it's. Uh, important too, so it's okay. So you're ready for the next picture? You guys ready? This is ready. Get it go. This is made by me again. This video is made by your host. What is the title of this video? Picture of the video. Hey, Queen Jana, I'm to pili Lola. Lola, oh, nanay, oh, bisanog, bisanog apu kay nanay gihapon ito wag. Wala na Lola. Lola de ay, haha. <laughs> Clint dyan, nanay ako tawag. Nanay bita to tawag, tiya piling. Bisag sa mga apu, nanay gihapon. Erminia, nag-atiman ko sa akong, atiman ko, masakiton. Kinsa may nasakit yan? Erminia, kinsa nasakit? Air balloon, very good. Junjun got it. Air balloon. Air balloon. What's air balloon? No, I forgot. I'm gonna check it quick. <laughs> I 
if there's one word in it. There's a one word. Man, that's very far already. I can find up here. Give me a minute. See if there's air balloon would be enough. I think there's a Oh, it's not air balloon. There's another name of it. Uh, let's say a junjun is not just air balloon. Half and faff. There you go. The first title of this is half and faff. Junjun air balloon is not the first title, and Clinton got the first title of it is half and faff. Very good, Junjun. And hot air balloon. That would be good too, hot air balloon. But the title of the first title of it is half, half and fab. Very good, very good, very good, Clint John. You got it. I think you you re you researched my videos. Rowena also had air balloon. Ricardo Max balloon, Max balloon, <laughs> maximum balloon. That's a really big balloon, guys. You can ride in it. Pwede ka mo sakay dali sa obos. Na murag basket niya. Masakay ka dito. Brother of my hobby. Oh, what happened to, to your brother and Lou? Erminia. Erminia, hot air balloon. Hot, hot, it's a half and fap because the half and fap is the first name of my video. And that's the, that's the important title. All right. Clint John, unsana big bad wolf. What's a big bad wolf here? Half and fap is the title of that uh, balloon. We're gonna half and fap. Uh, Clint John, haha. Next, okay, next. What's that? <laughs> What's that? Uh, okay, ready? Get your next picture. Now we're going back. We're back, guys. So this is the last. This is the last of my picture, picture challenge. So we're gonna go to the. Half and faff. The answer is half and faff. Answered by Clint John. It's a half. And half and half. It's the half and half. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the riddles. Okay, riddles, we go. Riddles is not repeat. It is not repeat. Oh, I think there's a couple of it. Duha siguro ka book repeat, ane, but not all repeat. Ready, get it. Riddles. Let's go to the riddles. First riddles, guys. Ready? First riddles. A box without hings. Key or lead, yet golden treasure is hid. Okay, this riddles is given to me by Cherry. So Cherry, can you answer it? If you remember. <laughs> if you remember the riddles that you give it to me, Cherry. A box without hangs, key or lead, yet golden treasure is hid. What is it? Wow. Wow, Erminia got it. Erminia, are you gonna are you gonna catch? Are you gonna catch on? Erminia got her first points. Good job, Erminia. 
Mr. Box. <laughs> John said, Mr. Box. Cherry didn't even answer her own riddles. Cherry, this is Cherry's riddle. The number one is Cherry's riddle and she didn't get the answer. Herminia got it first. You guys ready for the next one? Okay. The next one is from my previous live stream. Two. Lady gets it. Next riddle. And this is really hard to answer. Hopefully you remember it not last time, guys. The one that was here. Most of you was here in my last live stream, so I think you can answer this. I'm gonna make my picture wider. There. Number two riddles, it says, Voiceless it cries, wingless flutters, toothless bites, mouth Please motors, motors, mouthless motors. This these words are really hard to understand. <laughs> Who got it? Who got it? Team Wicked got it. It's a wind. What is the high score, please? Okay, Clint John, I'll, I'll update the high score. I'll read it. I read this first. Clint Jan said toothbrush. No. Tim Bicket got it right. Cherry got it right. Yeah. <laughs> Cherry, you got it right, but you're a little bit late. A miss is away late from Tim Bicket. Good job, Tim Bicket. Now you have six points. Okay, update for the points. Rowena got three points. Tim Bicket, six points. Cherry got three. Junjun got nine. Clint Jan got. 10 and Arminia got one. That's all the points, guys. All right. You ready for the next? That riddle, it's been answered by Tim Bicket. Tim Bicket, wind. The answer for this riddle is wind. <laughs> Naunhan si Cherry. Naunhan sayo ang kagaling yung riddle. <laughs> next, next is also from Cherry. Oh, I'm not sure. Is this from Cherry or is this from, from Tim Bicket? I'm not sure, but we had it last time. So, whoever is gonna get... Haha. Totoo lang that's pretty good answer too because it tooth it's about tooth so very close to toothbrush right <laughs> toothbrush i don't know if toothbrush, toothbrush will bite though toothbrush will bite okay <laughs> okay next fiddles ready gidget go Okay, we'll catch up. Next riddle is from Cherry again. Catch it up. One, two, three, go. <clears throat> Read it. What has roots, as nobody says, is taller than trees, up, up it goes, and yet never grows. Wow. I never heard, I never heard of this. This is the first time I've heard of this riddle. What was that? Where is that? Okay, what has roots, as nobody says, is taller than trees, up, up it goes, and yet never grows. Wow, I like this riddle, guys. It's rhyme really good. It's, it's like a poem. Is it? Finally, Cherry, you remember your own riddles. Good job. So the answer of this is mountain. Uh, uh, the number three answer is mountain. So remember this next time. What has roots, as nobody says, is taller than trees. Up, up it goes, and yet never grows. 
it's very it's it's weird it's kind of weird riddles but the answer is mountain and points goes to cherry good job cherry you got now you have now four points very good Erminia is right too but it's late cherry cherry you already got the right answer it's a mountain Cartagon. oh yeah Cartagon is mountain too that one is a mountain too yeah <laughs> but the answer is mountain Erminia said to or anak clinton to Cartagon pariharang na ado or gama na silingan rana tata din tumamista magsyagit <laughs> okay guys ready for the next riddle next riddle ready get it go number four riddles these things oh we got this last time these things all things devours birds beasts trees flowers now irons bite stales grind hard stones to mill and also slays king this is really really complicated everything is there it's just like a story life in general i guess so what what is it what's the answer riddle number four says this thing all things devours birds best trees flowers now iron bites steel grinds hard stone to mill and slays king whoa slays king in the old old times in europe whatever is hub king okay let's go to the answer uh, clinton said earth it's not an earth what's the answer that last time well the answer is very simple guys do you remember it yeah Erminia got uh, no team Dickit got it. Cherry said, "Buhi pa si may mimong Erminia sa poo." Oh, I don't know. Ilan naman kaya idag na? <laughs> How old is nung mimong? I don't remember that. It was already old when I was there. Okay, got it, guys. The answer is time. I mean, Timbiket got it right. Timbiket now has seven points. Timbiket got the right answer. Time. Erminia time. El Shar uh, time. Clinton Orasan. All of you guys are right, but the point will go to will go to the first one to answer, and it is Timbiket. Good job, Timbiket. You remember it very well. Good job. Good job. Erminia Zamora Alshire Erminia Alshire What ko kahi balo? Oh, okay Erminia didn't know that chair <laughs> It's a far away Far away, far away in Ubu In Cartagan Cartagan ba to chair or poo? I don't remember now Huh? How's that happen? I don't think you're the first, Jerry. Let me check the message. Time, time, time. Okay, I will. Time. The answer time. Jerry, Tim Pickett is the first one. Actually, you are two meters away from Tim Pickett. You're the third one. First answered by Timbiket Time, and then Erminia, and then you, and then Clint John. All four of you got the right answer. First one is Timbiket. <laughs> I was a chat. My chat is different. I'll share a host kagabi in Araba. What? Shas, shas the eye. Oh my god, I thought it, I thought you said ahos. Shas the eye. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Darn it. Wait. I remember your dad, it said, Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. <laughs> so, 
uh, think we could get it first. You ready? You guys ready for the next one? Where are you going, Terry? Terry, where are you going? You have to stay here for a little bit more. It's only 11.21 right now. You ready? Okay, next riddle. One, two, three, riddle, go. Okay, number five, riddle. I have no wings, but I can fly. I have no eyes, but I can cry. What am I? What is it? Remember, this is in the last time riddle. And uh, last time uh, live stream. Five. I have no wings, but I can fly. I have no eyes, but I can cry. What am I? <laughs> Clint Jan said, oh, what was that? Why did you miss erase that? Okay. It's not a bird. It was a bird. I have no wings, but I can fly. I have no eyes, but I can cry. What am I? Paper? No, it's not a paper, Clint John. Cloud. Very good. It's been answered by Erminia. Erminia, are you going to catch it on? You have two points now. Two points for Erminia. Very good. Okay. Ready, get it for the next. Uh, ready, get it good for. Ready, get it go for the next riddle. Okay, number six riddle. Cloud Clint John, you're right. It's not very fast in typing. Erminia beat you for uh, just like two misses away. Okay, next. Number six, number six, riddle. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Well, there's more in here. I, I mistyped it. I mistyped the, the more, but it's supposed to be the more you take, the more you leave behind. What is it? Let me say I haven't have answered this yet. The more you take, the more you leave behind. People, let's say, number six. The more you take, the more you leave behind. Let's say what is the answer. Clean John Parta, Gaubuk Man Goro, Serminia. Yes, taga ubo na sa Erminia Clint Jan. You know her. <laughs> silinga na nato, silinga nato sa ubo. Okay. Erminia said footstep. Very good. Clint Jan said people. Erminia, you got the right answer. The answer is footstep. Three points for Erminia. Now Erminia had three points. Good job. Good job, Erminia. All right, next, next, next riddle. Number seven riddle. What English word has three consecutive double letters? What English word has three consecutive double letters? This is a little bit complicated because there's a lot of words, but you have to pick the words that has three consecutive double letters. What is that word? Asa naman sila, John John? Pasi natulog na, Erminia? Tagawalog? Oh, Tagawalog, Clint John. 
Tagawalog na si Arminia. Arminia, kaila ka ni Clint John. <laughs> Natulog na goro sila. Gabiin naman di agod. Wow! Erminia's ganang catch, catch up, guys. Clinton, you have to answer fast. It's a bookkeeper. It's bookkeeper. The answer is bookkeeper. There's two O's, two K's, and two A's. So it is three consecutive double letters. The answer is bookkeeper. Good job, Arminia. Oh, Junjun's still here. It's a committee. That is pretty good answer too. Oh, it is not because there's two M and then there's I. So the I, it's only one, but it's pretty good. Pretty good answer, Junjun. There's two M and two T's and two E's, but just there's an I in the center. The bookkeepers, there's two O's, two keys, and two E's. Very good. Erminia, now you have four. Are you going to catch up? We're going to update the... Inom rakog tambal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Erminia said, Junjun kay uyab man siguro ni sa anak ni Bibi Ivan. What? Janjan? Si Janjan? <laughs> oh. I don't know. <laughs> Wala ko kaila sa anak ni Bibi Iban. Basen, Arminia. <laughs> okay, now the points is... I'm gonna update the points so that you will know. Oh, where are you? Rowena ga, I think si Rowena natulog na. Giduka na pagabi na kayo gito. Timbikit ga, 7. Cherry ga, Four, Junjun got nine, Clint Jan got ten, and Erminia got four. Erminia is catching on, guys. Clint Jan. <laughs> I mean Clint Jan. Okay, ready for the next? Ready, get you number eight riddle. Number eight riddle. I come from a mine and get surrounded by wood always. This is tricky. Okay. I come from a mine and get surrounded by wood always. Everyone uses me. What am I? I came from a mine and get surrounded by wood always. Everyone uses me. What am I? Wow. It's very nice riddle. Cherry, this is from you again. Answer it. Answer it faster. Faster, faster, faster. Number eight. Wow. The answer is two letter word. I mean, two words. Okay, let's say I come from a mine and get surrounded by wood always. Everyone uses me. Uses me. Okay. Erminia, I mean, clean. Jansan Dili. Man ha, dili man aha, <laughs> dili di ay Arminia, dili ko na ingon si Clint John Arminia. Okay, Arminia said pencil. Arminia, you have to put more word. Is uh, the answer is two words. So pencil what? There's more word on it. Pencil what? That is right, but you have to put more word on it, cause it won't uh get the meaning of it. Pencil and blank. Pencil and there's another word. I come from a mine and get surrounded by wood always. Everyone uses me. What am I? What am I? Pencil word. No. It is not Queen John, but it's close. Keep keep guessing. Pencil what? Anybody give a clue? I can give a clue. It's in the center of the pencil. Junjun said pencil and paper. No. It's 
the little brown is it brown it's a brown color very good Arminia got it right guys the answer is pencil lead see that uh, that center the center of the the pencil that's a lid it's a pencil lid good job Arminia you're catching on what's up Junjun and Clint John don't let Arminia Samura catch on she's gonna get the prize for now we our lead is a uh, Clint John the second is Junjun and the third is Tim Bicket pencil lid very good that is right Arminia the answer of number eight is pencil lid okay next next question number nine all right what is seen in the middle of march and april and can't be seen at the beginning or end of either month what is seen in the middle of march and april that can't be seen at the beginning or end of either month Mamanda ka sa akin, Clint John. What is that? <laughs> Clint John said, I'm not good at this. You're good. You're good, Clint John. You're the second right now. You're in the second. Uh, no, you're in the first place, Clint John. But you have to keep going because Junjun is the second. It's a one, you're one point away from Junjun. And then Tim Bicket, I don't know where she is now. She's not answering anymore, so maybe she's not answering uh, her point is not gonna go uh, go move on okay what's the answer to this what is seen in the middle of march and april that can't be seen at the beginning or in the wider month no the answer is just Oh wow! Now Cherry got it. Reminya said January, not January. Cherry got it, guys. The answer is R. So what is it? How did the R get in there? Let's look at it. What is in the middle of March? There you go. There's R in the middle of March and April, and that can't be seen in the beginning and end of the either month. So. You can see the R in the beginning of March or in the beginning the beginning and end of March or in the beginning and end of April. So very good, Jay. Good job. Good job. <laughs> good job, Cherry. Now you have five points. Who's die now? Update the score. Rowena got three. Tim Bicket got 7, Cherry got 5, Junjun got 9, Clint Jan 10, and Arminia is 5. So we have Thai, Cherry, and Arminia. Yay! Break the tie! Break the tie! Okay. Tim Bicket is back! Yup. She's back! Clint Jan, same R. Yup. That's right. Uh, same R in the middle. Yup. Same R in the middle. Then you can't say it in the 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 beginning and end of either month the beginning of march and april you can't see in that all right ready ready get to go next riddle number 10 number 10 riddle you measured my life in hours and i serve you by expiring i'm quick when i'm thin i'm slow when i'm fat the wind is my enemy. What? The wind is my enemy. I don't know the answer to this, so I'm excited. So I'll, re I'll just analyze it, see if I can get the right answer. Ready? You measured, uh, you measure my life in hours, and I serve you by expiring. I'm quick when I'm thin. I'm slow when I'm fat. The wind is my enemy. The wind is my enemy. I'm gonna look at the answer guys this is a complicated riddles 
नंबर तीन Uh, the answer is a candle. Who get the answer? Erminia uh, got the answer. Wow, Clint John, you almost got it first. You, you one message where you're two seconds away from Erminia. Erminia got the right answer, guys. It's a candle. Erminia is very good in riddles. Now. Now I mean I have uh, six points. Oh my. Oh my. This is I think two more riddles and we'll go ahead and proceed to social studies and the social studies it's gonna be hard. Are you guys sleepy? It's almost one in there. Almost one in the morning. Okay. Ready? Get you go number eleven riddle. Number 11, I have cities but no houses. I have mountains but no trees. I have water but no fish. What am I? I have cities but no houses. I have mountains but no trees. I have water but no fish. What am I? Okay, the research answer for that. Oh wow. Hmm, that's tricky guys. That is a tricky riddle. Okay. We'll read it again. A map. Oh. The answer is a map and it's answered by Erminia. You guys, you need to type faster. Erminia got it right really fast. The answer of the number 11 is a map. I have cities, but no houses. I have mountains, but no trees. I have water, but no fish. And the answer is a map. One more point for Erminia. Now she has seven points so far. Oh my. Clean Jan, wow! Clean Jan, don't let Erminia got <laughs> cut up on you. Three more, th three more points, and Erminia's gonna catch up in you. Come on, come on! <laughs> Type fast. Okay, one last question. What else do I have? Uh, one last question for the uh, riddles. You guys, type it fast. Type it fast. Very short riddle for the next one. Number 12. I make two people out of one. I make two people out of one. What is it? Oops, my connection is scrolling. Oh, sometimes my connection is scrolling too, but it's just in a second. It's just not very long. So I am happy with my connection so far. I like live streaming. So guys, number 12 riddles. And this is the last one for the riddles today. I make two people out of one. What is it? Whoa! <laughs> Jensen said frig not. No, it is not. It, it's a, it's a thing. The answer is a thing. <laughs> it's a thing. And Erminia got it. Sorry, Jinjun. I think Erminia got all of these riddles. Clint Jan said Kambal. <laughs> Kambal. Very good answer. <laughs> it's a Kambal. Ah, er Erminia is 8 points. 
The answer for the last riddle, I make two people out of one, is mirror. Good job, Arminia. Okay, we're gonna move on to... Hey guys, what do you think you would like to do next live stream? What games do you like? Do you like the first game? The whale challenge? The whale challenge is fun and you don't have to think so hard. You're just gonna be pick pick the things that you like and you might uh, uh, landed it to it landed to it <laughs> okay we're gonna go ahead and go to the social studies are you ready okay guys if you have anything any idea that you'd like to do for the next live stream just tell me write down your right write down in the comments your ideas okay see this you like this you like you, you like the riddles quint john okay i'm still gonna have the riddles i have to find another riddles then because arminia is really good at riddles what's the world challenge anyway erminia you were late so you can you can watch it later it's fun you just turned well i'll show you later okay we'll do the social status and we'll talk about what's the next challenge we're gonna do last challenge And this is a little bit hard. This is from social studies, guys. Clint John, type faster. I don't want Arminia to catch up with you. <laughs> Arminia is really good. She's not even here in the first challenge. Well, a lot of a lot of you is not here from the first challenge. Of uh, world challenge was I have only like seven people, but they're all sleeping now. You don't like it. Erminia, you don't like social studies? This is good. That will make you... Oh, yeah, okay. I will make some more... I'll, uh, I'll make some more of the food game next time, Clint John. I'll make more of those, okay? Alright. But this is the social studies. It's going to make your brain smarter. Okay, what was the catalyst that forced the U.S. to enter World War II? What was the catalyst that forced the United States to enter World War II? It was the big event. There was a movie in it. There was the movie of this. Wow! Sorry guys, but Arminia, Ar Arminia got it already. Wow, Arminia. Did you watch my video too? Did you watch my old, old GED videos? Because I got it from, from that. Money. It's not money. <laughs> Arminia, you have to put the first word though. You have to put the first. The first word is, it is the very important of this. There's a first word of this before the blank Pearl Harbor. What happened to the Pearl Harbor anyway? You have to put the first word or else it didn't make sense. American shipping. <laughs> no, it's not American shipping. Do you know there's a very good movie in this one? I watched this movie when I was in the Philippines. I can't remember who was the uh shop free shipping <laughs> god snipes miss what we learning oh hi god spy god snipes thank you for coming in we are learning about social studies guess what is the catalyst that forced the United States to enter World War II. This is from Social Studies from GED. The immediate cause of World War I, it's a World War II. 
the immediate schools of border one that made the upper mentioned upper mentioned item comes into play alliance imperialism materialism nationalism i think that's right for the world war one but we're talking about her for the world war two all right we got answer here Clinton said, Junjun got the right answer. Good job, Junjun. Is the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Remember, the Japanese bombed the Pearl Harbor. And that was a very uh, surprise attack. There was a lot of soldiers died in Pearl Harbor because they were sleeping and they never, they never expect that that was happening. So the answer is the bombing of Pearl Harbor. All right, Junjun, you, you have now 10 points. Good job, Junjun. God's knife, which age group is this class targeted for? It's for everybody, God's knife. We were just doing a game. Whoever get the, whoever get the highest scores, the winner. Because I'm in grid. Oh, really? You're in grid 10? Wow. Yeah, this is like for a, in a high school. Because all of these uh, social studies, I studied it when I, I got my GED. I was studying for GED test. And it's for like from middle school to high school. Because if you can't finish high school, then you still can get GED certificate and you can't. You, you can get GED diploma and you can go to college even if you don't have any middle school or high school or anything. So that's how I studied this all about social studies. I'm not in grade nine. I got I, I, re, I got my GED diploma in 2017 I think 2016 or 2017. Oh, in in VM, I anticipated it to be class. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. This is just for fun for everybody. But thank you so much for coming, though. I live in Canada. Hi, it's completely different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's completely different. That's right. Because if you want to go here and get your JED diploma, I don't know if they have... You have a GED diploma in uh, Canada, but we have it here in the United States. God Snipes, welcome to the live stream. I think God Snipes just, he thought this is just a class, but it's not a class, it, it is a game. It is a game for everybody, for just a different kind of game. Okay. You're good, God Snipe. Yeah, he was just, it was just a, a misunderstanding for him. Okay, let's go ahead and go to, go to next. Okay. Number, and the next question. What was the reason that early Puritan colonists come to America? So John Clinton and John John is tied right now. We have to break the tie. Herminia said next place. Okay, here's the next one. What was the reason that early Puritan colonists come to America? What was the reason that early Puritan colonists come to America. Mm, Clint, uh, Clint John said money. No, it's not a money. It is not a money. No, it is not a war, Clint John. The, uh, the, the answer of this is two words. Two words. 
where was my answer? I write down my answers. Yeah, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, that was right. Practice? No? Clue, the answer is two words. The answer is two words. Anybody practice religious? Erminia, that is two words, and the, your religious is right, but the practice is not. So find the right answer. No, it is not freedom. That is different. Very close, though. Keep guessing. Religious what? They came to America because they are scared of this. This one scared them. Clint John said, Puritan New England colonists. Yeah, why are they leaving New England? Why are they coming to America? What are they scared about? They were scared of their place, so they have to move to a different clue. Clue, haha. They were scared in their place. So they have to go to America to get away of this religious. They don't like religion in that place or that kind of religion. No. Chloe is like you're punishing because of being religious. They're punishing them because of that religious you have. It is not religious freedom. Close, start with P. Religious and P. Religious P. It is like some country that like your religion, so they're gonna punishing them for being religious. So what is the other no name of that? Religious start with P. No, <laughs> it's not religious death. That's <laughs> it's not religious freedom, Erminia. It's religious, and then the the next word is start with P. Religious people? No. No. The, the word is like other meaning, other word for punishing, punishing or religious punishment. No, almost there. Find another meaning of punishment. Start with P. Religious pilgrimage. No, it's not. <laughs> You're pretty close though. What is uh, Google the other meaning of punishment? Or... Let's see what's other word in it. Go Google with the other word. Religious pilgrimage. Synonym. What is the synonym? Oh, I don't want this is a. Uh... You're very close, John John. 
That is very close for penalizing. But there's another meaning of it. Victimizing, uh, oppression or victimizing, it's similar to this word. There's another, there's another word for penalizing and this is very close. The meaning is hostility and ill treatment, especially because of race or political or religious belief. It's not providence. You're going to get it, guys. You already get a lot of words that's very close to it. You're going to get it. It's close to the word harassment or hostility. Or it's a sentence. Oh, a sentence noun. The meaning of this word is The meaning of this word religious penance. Oh, very close, very close, John John. Very close. I'm gonna read the meaning of that word, okay? Maybe you can get it. This word is. A harassment or bad treatment based on race, religion, gender, or sexual, sexual orientation. When people are treated badly and harassed because of their religion's belief. Is an example of religious what? Purifying, no? It's going to be very good if you get it. It's like when they, somebody is in prison and they're going to sentence them with the very, the, the very bad one. Yeah, but, but what are they scared? What are they afraid of? Why did they live in that country? and go to America because of religious P I'm gonna go give you uh, three letters I'll give you the three letters at the beginning P ah. P I R the beginning of this Clinton, you're very close. Very close of that penalty. What is the other word of penalty? Start with P E R. It is not permiton. I'm going to give you another. I'll give you another letter, okay? Give you another letter. P E R S. There you go, finally. Well, Jinjin got it. <laughs> that was a long, that was a very, very long. Time to answer. Good job to Junjo. Now you got in the lead. You have now 11 points. You're one point ahead of Clint John. That was pretty cool. 
Clinton almost got it. The penalty, you know, the penalty is the same meaning as persecution. But it's really bad, though. So. Good job, John John. Kudos to you. Now you got the right answer. Okay, let's go to the number. Oh, the next question. I didn't have a number here. Okay, you have to rest your brain for a little bit. <laughs> that was really hard to... Yeah, that's why the Puritan colonists come to America because they were scared of the religious persecution in that country. And that was really early, early, early time. We were not born yet. <laughs> Okay, next question. Okay, this one. Who built an empire and established colonies in Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea? Let me say. The number three. Okay. Who built an empire and established colonies in Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea? Thank you, Cherry. Salamat sa pagtagoan ang nga comment. <laughs> Okay, who built an empire and established colonies in Mediterranean Sea and the Black Sea? <laughs> Clean John, get this. Pangayog tabang diha. Pangayog tabang sa imong karomit. Na ba kay karomit diha? Armenia said Portugal, no? Yep. Junjun got it right, guys. Now, Junjun is ahead of. It's the Greek. The answer is the Greek. Junjun got it. Good job, Junjun. Now you have 12 points. Let me update the question quick. I mean, the, the points. Tim Bikit got 4 points. Rowena, 3. Oh, no. Rowena, three, Timbiket, seven, Cherry, five, Junjun, 12, Clintjan, 10, and Arminia got eight. King of, <laughs> that's a good answer, King of Mid Mi Mi Meditrit. Do you mean Mediterranean? It's really hard. This is really hard to, to, uh, spell. Armenia said Portuguese. Very close. Greek farmers. <laughs> Greek farmers. So you got it. The first word. Good job, guys. Okay, next, next. Where are the next? It's already 12. We're gonna uh, uh, finish. Uh, we're gonna end our live stream quicker. Next question. Who brought growth in education, science, and the arts in between 1300 and 1600 spread from Italy across Europe? Who brought, <laughs> can't read it anymore. Who brought growth in education, science, and the arts in between 1300 and 1600 spread from Italy across Europe? <laughs> Sorry, Arminia. <laughs> It's just to just so, so that your brain will be smarter. Para baid sa otok ba? Baid lang sa otok para dili. Punician. Junjun said Punician. Let's say, what's the answer? No, it is not Punicians. It's very close. Is there other the other group like that? There's another group like that. I don't know if we hear this in the Philippines. I think it's only here in United States. I don't know if you heard that 
if you have that study in, in school in the Philippines. But I think so because this is universal. It's in the early, early time. Who brought growth in education, science, and the arts in between 1300? Imagine, guys, it's in 1300. It's a long time ago. Between 1300 and 1600s. That means in the year of 1300 and 1600, spread from Italy across Europe. Imagine we're in 2020 now. We're in 2020. That one is 13,000. Wow, 13,000. Clint John had medieval. Wow, you close, Clint John. Go find another answer with that. It started with R. It is start with R. Start with R. Beginning letter is R. Good job! Finally! <laughs> Clean John! Good job! The Renaissance. Do you have a Renaissance? We have a Renaissance festival here in our place. So they're the one that is smart, a group of smart people. So remember that if you have a if you have a test. So the answer of this, the Renaissance brought growth in education, science, and the arts in between 1300 and 1600, spread from Italy across across Europe. Okay, Clint John, you got now 11 points. Very close to John John. You and John John is very close. Erminia, your answer is right too, but Clinton got it first. Good job, guys. This is pretty hard. Finally, yeah, congrats to Clinton. Finally, you're very smart. <laughs> no, it, that's okay. It's really hard to spell. At least you got the idea. I think that's right, Erminia. That's okay. We'll just point it to give it the points to Clint Jan, cause she, cause he got the idea of it. Just a one, one. It's only one letter. Yeah, it's only one letter, Miss. All right. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Ready for the next one? Okay, ready, get it, go. <laughs> okay, next question, guys. What are the two? Now, just ignore the die. I don't know why I have the die in there. The question is, what are the two civilization that has the that had the greatest impact on American system of blue and government? What are the two civilization that had the greatest impact on American system of blue and government? Let's see, what's my answer? There is two answers. Whoever get the one can get one score. If you get the, I'll I'll count it as two scores. So if you get one of it, you'll get one point. And another one, if you get the two of it, I'll give you two points. Because it's a two kind of people, group of people. I mean, country. It's a country. What are the two civilizations that had the greatest impact on American system of blue and government? Joke lang. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You guys are sleepy. Katulgo <laughs> naman. This is gonna be our last question, so get it right. And then we're gonna talk about what is your next, what do you like in my next live stream? Just put your idea, in, and then I'm gonna go make another live stream that is different from this, so that you're gonna uh, 
practice your brain really good. You guys are really good. Kling Chan got the ancient. But what country, Kling Chan? The country is important in this one. Ancient is good. You got the ancient, but the important is the important Kling Chan is the is the country, the name of the country. Ancient what? There are two ancient civilization. Ancient country civilization. It's not Roma. Uh, Rome. Rome is Roman ancient. Roman Roman is good. I'll give you the one. One point for Clint John. It's Rome. Ancient Rome. Roman. That one said right. Roman and Rome is the, is Roman is the one that live in Rome. So not ancient America. <laughs> Clinton, can you? It's not ancient America. Clinton's answer is Roman, but it's that's very close. Find the uh, find the uh, Clinton. Can you find the? Uh, I mean, the country. What country is the Roman lib? Ancient America is very close. It's not ancient America, John John. I don't think the America is ancient. Ancient America is uh, uh, developed later after these two ancient countries. Find the a country where the Roman people live. Very good. Ancient Rome, one point for Clinton. Get the other. Now Thai. Junjun and Clinton is Thai. Get the other. Okay, Junjun got the second. Greece is the second country. Good job, guys. Very close. Ancient Rome, Romania, sorry. <laughs> uh, Clint John got it right first. Good job, guys. Now we have here the winner is John John. John John got 13 points. Clint John got 12 points. Romania got 8. Uh, Pimbicate got 7. It's not a great cherry. The answer is grace. Ancient grace and ancient room. That, that's the two civilization that had a greatest impact in American system of law and government. It's pretty good, pretty good learning, isn't it? Now you remember the old, old time how the America get started. Yep, Erminia, Clint uh, John, and Jun Jun got the right answer for the two countries for the first time. Yeah, Erminia, the winner is Jun Jun, first prize. Second is Clint John, and the third is you. We don't have a port because Tim Bicket is in the port and she's here. So. The prize, the first is goes to, first prize goes to Jun Jun, second is goes to Clint Jan, and the third is for you. Ancient Grace. Yeah, that's right, Clint Jan is Ancient Grace, but uh, Jun Jun got it right here in the, in the top. He got the country. And you got the ancient room and the ancient room. Very good, guys. Now we have our winner. Oh, I don't have any more questions. That was my last one, I think. Yeah, that was my last one, Armenia. 
we're gonna get some more later uh next time okay okay now tell me write down your you the thank you thank you for joining us jim john can you write down what do you like next time what do you like next time which one is your favorite we're gonna research the hard one so that your brain will be become <laughs> smarter shout out to all wak wak congrats you all guys for helping junjun <laughs> cherry said yoro meet you thanks for the abat friends oh somebody's helping clinton too uh congratulations to all that help clinton congratulations to all you guys thank you so much for coming in <laughs> yeah i have a lazy here she she is climbing up <laughs> math question next time all right math question next time i'm gonna write down what's gonna be the next one math what else Arminia, what do you want what what do you think it's good next time we we need math junjun said math question what do you like Arminia? what do you like cherry you still here clinton what do you like what do you like for the next time i have math here I'll show you, Erminia, I'll show you the first food we were, we were, we did. Erminia, it's look like this, and we have a different kind of food, and you put, you put your food that you like, like five food, and we roll the, and then Fourth question, fourth question for Clint John. That's good. Food, food, uh, and social studies. You like social studies. That's good. I like social studies too because then you learn something. You learn something that you can have a story when you have guys get together. If you have kids then you can tell to your kids it's very cool so we have her from jun jun math food questions from clint jan and clint jan social studies too erminia what do you like what's your specialty it looks like a funny game yeah do you like this anybody like this because i'm just gonna go make it like five you get the five food and we're gonna turn the wheel like you turn the wheel and then you're gonna guess what food do you like like that and we're gonna turn it like five times like the answer in the first one is sandwich bread yeah cherry do you like this do you like this food wheel game wheel game Do you want it to do it again next time? I can put a different name. Or I put your name in there. If you're if you're gonna be sure that you're gonna be here next time, I, we can do a naming. But food is good though. Alright guys, I guess that's everything we got. Oh, uh, I'm gonna Clint John. I'm not sure yet, but I'm gonna give you. Uh, I'm gonna let Garnell and uh, Chair or Timbiket message you. Uh, Zorian TV or Timbiket message you. I'm not sure yet because I, I think I'm gonna go back to work and I'm not gonna have a lot of time. But I will make sometimes. Paning kamo ako makatime ko live stream because it's really fun. Thank you all guys for coming in.